If you don't love Baton Rouge, that's because you don't know Baton Rouge. If you don't know Baton Rouge, you're about to. I'm Brandi B. Harris. This is Love 225. Welcome to Love 225, where we are all about the color and culture in and around the capital city, including all those unique and hidden gems that we all love. And today, we're going to introduce you to some new people, something new each and every week right here on this show that showcases our little corner of South Louisiana. And this week, we're starting with the ladies. In March, we'll be celebrating International Women's Day, and it's a global holiday on March 8th, focusing on women's issues. That includes women's rights, bringing attention to gender equality, reproductive rights, and violence or abuse against women. And today, we're sitting down with a woman who has turned her college crown into multiple successful businesses. And she's focusing her efforts on women's wellness this month, and we will show you how. And Going Green has been a part of our everyday lexicon for quite some time. We'll hear from a master artist who's been doing just that for 40 years. No need for a new canvas. Henry Watson is a fine artist who takes reclaimed 100-year-old cypress wood and turns it into complete masterpieces. His artwork showcases the picturesque and historical scenes of South Louisiana. In each work of art, he can smell and taste the food, feel the emotion, and see the beauty. We'll hear from him about his life's work and how his work has inspired the next generation of artists. Plus, I know you're hungry. We're always hungry. We're taking you on another taste station vacation. So today's question, do you like wings? Garlic Parmesan, get the garlic Parmesan. Just wait until you see what Empire Wings has to offer. Nearly 10 years in the game and three locations later, the story behind it is quite inspirational. From nightclubs to the kitchen, Vic Smith has quite the story to share and we cannot wait to get straight into it. Before we get to all of that, we told you on the very first episode of Love 225 all about 225 Fest, the inaugural festival celebrating the people, music, and culture of Baton Rouge. And if you missed it, you missed out on quite the moment. The first ever 225 Fest on 225 Day took over the streets of Baton Rouge in front of the state capitol. More than 14,000 people filled the streets of downtown Baton Rouge near the Capitol Park Museum. And the afternoon was filled with live performances from HD for President and many others. There was even an art walk featuring pieces that highlight some of Louisiana's favorites, including Joey B. I think we all know that guy. And of course, you can't have a party without tons of dancing and plenty of food. Now, when we first talked to founder and organizer Myra Richardson, she said the idea for this street festival came out of social media. And it was such a success that it could become a yearly event. I am so excited I could cry. We were so excited to surprise the entire community. We have thousands of people out here. We had HD for president. We had Partners in Crime. We had AJ. We just had a lot of great talent and we're so excited. Um, I'm grateful for our entire leadership committee who put in work, all of our great sponsors. But to be recognized by the mayor and have a proclamation made today, officially 225 Day in the Capital Region, it was official on social media and now it's official in the parish government. So we're grateful, we're excited, and we can't wait to continue you making history. When we return on Love 225, we're talking to a woman on a mission from the crown to the food truck. Now she's helping other women. She's leading by example, and you do not want to miss that conversation. Then we'll show you a masterpiece from a master painter. Meet this man from across the river who has nearly a half a century of experience in art that's taken him from Livonia to across the world. That's all still to come on Love 225. And we are back. This is Love 225. I'm Brandi B. Harris. Joining me today, I have Chisalu Isia Denso, who is an all around boss and entrepreneur, AKA Chiz. Can I just call you Chiz? <laughs> yeah, you can call me Chiz. <laughs> okay, so Chiz, you've gone from being a college queen. You were Miss Southern University in 2011, right? Yes. So talk to me about, you came out of that and you launched these brands. Yeah. Talk to me about that and how that started for you. So um, directly after getting my MBA from Southern University in 2015, I knew that I wanted to still follow my heart and go into entrepreneurship. I ended up starting an interior exterior painting company called Green Tiger Painting. A lot of people in the area may have known about that. And then I decided to do something different. I still have been in my career for over eight years in supply chain management. I moved to Atlanta and I just wanted to 
really be that career person while also balancing entrepreneurship. And just right before the pandemic, I ended up returning home with the food truck Creole Creations. And now I have decided to start Forever a Dreamer, which is my heart. It's everything I put into um, being an entrepreneur and also a woman in entrepreneurship. Being in so many male-dominated fields, I felt like, hey, why not start something for women who are underdeserved, underrepresented, and also underfunded? So here is the birth of Forever a Dreamer. So let's look at this box, because I know <laughs> that you, you, you've been giving out the boxes or people can purchase the boxes. You also have a podcast. What's inside the box? So I created this box because I wanted to do something like an accountability system in a box. You know, with women being busy, entrepreneurs, women in the professional realm, I wanted to create something to where we can still have work-life balance, but also focus on our priorities. So I created a beautiful notepad where you can jot down your dreams in your notepad. Um, you know, as us being readers as well, a metal bookmark, because, you know, the paper bookmarks kind of sometimes get lost yeah, or they, damaged. Yeah, they get damaged. Yeah, yeah and um, it also comes with a pen, and, and I really pride myself on this notepad because I really got creative and designed it myself. And it's just like an accountability system in one where you're focusing on your day. What are your goals? How much water did you drink? Did you have a meal today? Did you have any dreams or any things that you felt like that needed to go down on a notepad? So I just wanted to make it to where women could feel empowered, but also hold themselves accountable while having such a busy life. And I know that you also have an event coming up in March focusing on women's wellness. What are the details on that? When is that? So I'm an honoree for this year's Flower Fest, and we're raising money for St. Jude. And I decided to create the Women's Wellness Day because it's in Women's History Month. And I wanted to show homage to women, but also us focusing on our health. We do so many things, and I just felt like, why not focus on the mind, body, and soul as we're trying to conquer the world through entrepreneurship or being in our careers? So why not come out to a beautiful day? It's going to be on March 11th at the Electric Depot, and we're just going to have fun while also raising money for St. Jude. So why not learn about our health and save a child's life at the same time? We love it. That's a great <laughs> opportunity for people to participate, take care of yourself. You're going to have yoga. There's going to be conversation, lots of mingling and fellowship. Yes with other women and like-minded individuals. Thank you so much, Chis, for telling us all about the Dream Her <laughs> Box. She's got a brand. She's got a food truck. This woman is working, y'all. And we're going to check back in with you coming up March 11th at the Electric Depot for Women's Wellness event. I'm super excited about Thank that. Thank you so much for having me, Brandy. We love it. And before we take a break... We, we've got some food for you to take a look at. Of course, we're always hungry down here in South Louisiana. And if you're ready for a bite, Vic Smith is opening up the door to his empire for the Love 225 crew. His chicken empire, that is. Wait until you hear the story behind it. It's pretty special. What's up? This is your boy Vic, Empire Wings. Show you how we get down. Since that's the flavor we started with at the club, show you how we do the OG redip. When did you start Empire Wings? Back in 2012, I used to run a club called Empire. A mutual friend bought a guy named Derek Revis, who, um, who's my partner, um, to the club to cook for us, and um, he made Empire Wings. People would come to the club just for the wings. We eventually turned that into a business. I actually took my last $1,200 and bought a fryer, and we went set up at a club downtown. It was EXO at the time, and we just kept going after that. OG Redip, that's um, it's a buffalo. But we sauce it and then we re-dip it for like seven seconds. The sauce kind of like soak into the chicken, make it all glossy and you're gonna see. We fry seasoned chicken. You can eat our chicken plain. You can't eat everybody else's chicken plain. You know, everybody loved the wings already. So when we brought them back, it was like, oh my God, like, thank you. It was a big deal. So it, it kind of made it easy for us. The brand was already being built. Well, like how long between just kind of slinging them out there to actually having a brick and mortar location. 2015, around April, that's when we started back. So now almost almost 10 years removed mm -hmm. from Empire, you're almost there. What, where would you say you are now, climbing up the mountain? Yeah, definitely climbing up because it's so far still to go. You know, we plan on franchising. You know, a lot of those guys that I have relationships with, athletes and stuff, they want to put Empire Wings in the city they play in. So 10 years from today, we should have at least 50 locations. Okay. Yeah, all over the country. Come on. Yeah, because it's an undeniable product. So, you know, the world needs to taste it. But it seems like Empire Wings has just been its own brand, its mm -hmm. own recognition for a while now. What would you say to them about the story behind it? One of my favorite quotes is, um, it's not over until you give up. 
I, this is OG. So if you get regular OG, regular Buffalo, that would be this. OG redip, we take it in. See that, get a close up on that. See how that sauce just, just sink into that chicken like that? Yes, sir. What can we expect like for the rest of the year from Empire? For sure, I plan on opening at least three more locations this year. Up next should be Ascension Parish. VJ Fries, VJ stands for Vic Junior. My son actually came up with those. Barbecue and ranch fries. It's not seasoned salt we putting on that either. It's a special stuff. It may not sound like it tastes good together, but I promise you, you will not be disappointed. If you had to tell like some young black person like yourself, like a young person who's like, I kind of want to be like Vic, like I don't want to work a schedule, what would you tell them? Find whatever you're good at and tap into that. You know what I'm saying? That way it doesn't necessarily feel like you're working. It's something you enjoy, it's something that you like and try to tap into that. And um, if you truly believe in it, truly believe in it, keep going. Well, if you like that, do not go away because we're getting into the mix of the 225. And coming up, it's one of the best times of the year here in South Louisiana. Crawfish season is upon us, y'all, and we've got a lot to look forward to. So we're taking you on a trip for some cool desserts, savory critters, and more. Plus, we'll introduce you to a very special artist with another story to tell. And we are here. We've got more actual color and culture this time. We're talking literal art with Mr. Henry Watson. Now, Mr. Watson is from Livonia, Louisiana, and for the last 40 plus years, he's been making one of a kind artwork from former pieces of cypress wood. Thank you so much for joining us on Love225. I'm 225. happy to be here. Thank you very much for inviting me. So first, tell me exactly how did you get into this recreation of the cypress wood into masterpieces? It all started many, many years ago from a little area called Livonia, Louisiana. I attended Livonia High School in our art department. Mr. Alan Crochet taught us the three-dimensional of wood carving. And the wood of choice was cypress. Cypress because it was all around us. And you know, when someone say they got cypress wood, they talk about wood eternal. Cypress lasts forever. That's right, it can last yes. in water and everything. And now yes. you're taking a lot of these pieces and this cypress's wood is so Louisiana and you're turning them into pictures of Louisiana, right? Absolutely. I take this cypress from old torn down buildings and cabins because it told a story. You take an old cabin that was built 100 years ago out of this cypress, I take a picture of the cabin, get the wood, and recreate it in the cypress wood. Okay, so let's see one of them. Show me one of these. What is this one? So this is a plantation this here. This is Paul Orange Plantation. The story behind Paul Orange goes way back. I was 15 years old. I met the Lucy Paul Orange. She told me, you continue doing what you do, the world will be the pass to your dough. Forty-some years later, literally from the world, they come to my dough. Right, we were talking on the phone and you told me that people take um, a cruise ship and they stop in New yes, Rose and you yes. show them some of your artwork. So people from all over the world are stopping in to buy from some of your art. From all over the world. And the wonderful thing about that is the America Queen is coming to New Rose and I'm the star people there and I demonstrate the art of 3D carving to all of the passengers. They come back and order a picture of their home, I make it and ship it. Now this is going round, round, round all the time. And with, just since you walked into this, to the News 2 studio, we've had people who've purchased your artwork before. Yes. So if, is it going to break my bank if I wanted to buy it's one of your artworks, Mr. Watson? It's never going to break your bank. Some like good things, you have to prepare for it. So <laughs> it's a Watson could be had by anyone. That's right. If you want a Watson. And you make yeah. custom pieces. So show me one of those custom pieces actually features Baton Rouge's USS Kid. Absolutely. Mr. Tom Hanks came and shot the movie um, The Greyhound. I decided that I would do a carving of his movie set that was shot in Baton Rouge. What a wonderful statement. And he was supposed to come back to Baton Rouge and do his opening, and what happened, he caught COVID. So yeah. this is the piece that I created for the Tom Hanks to see. Tom Hanks is secretly a good friend of WBRC. Gave us a big time shout out when he was on the USS Kid Wonderful. shooting Greyhound. Yes, so yes. this is amazing stuff. You're taking old cypress wood, 100 year old cypress wood, yes. and turning them into absolute masterpieces. So what would you say about your art? If you had to describe it in just a few words, how would you describe it? Well, I tell people I capture their story, the memories of the days gone by. Think about these old boards. These old boards were once part of a wall and now it's the Watson is hanging on your wall. 
And if you had to guess, how many people are, how many pieces of your work are out there in the world hanging on someone's oh, wall? Oh, gracious. That would be tough to decide because I've done them for 40 some years and I never kept count. Now we are documenting every piece that goes out the door. Okay. So literally it's thousands and thousands of Watsons somewhere. Well, thank you yeah. so much for contributing Happy your heart here. and your heart and just contributing to our culture down here in South Louisiana. We love 225, so we love that you are contributing in this major way. And it is a wonderful place to be, 225. All right, thank, thank you, you so much, Mr. Watson. Do not go away because we're getting into the mix of the 225. You do not want to miss it right here on Love 225. And we're back on Love 225. I'm Brandy B. Harris. And again, we're introducing you into the mix where we're going to take a deep dive into local pop culture, community programs, and everything that gets us talking in and around Baton Rouge. So let's get straight into it. Joining me today, we've got Chizalu Incia Denso. I'm so sorry. Chiz. Yeah. We'll go with Chiz. We'll make it easy. And then, of course, we have Law Lucas, Laurie Bosley, AKA Laurie Bosley from across the river. Yeah. And Plaquemine, he did not want me to forget that Plaquemine is a part yeah. of the 225, so we're going to get into exactly. his story in a bit, too. Sure. But first, it's time to share and show the love for women all over the world because we're getting ready for International Women's Day. And, of course, International Women's Month is in March. All month long, we're going to be celebrating women. Again, the official day is March 8th, and it's a global holiday to celebrate the social, political, and cultural achievements of women all over the world. And this year's theme for the campaign is hashtag Embrace Equity. Now, Chiz... You've been doing the hard work on that and making sure that women have opportunities to wellness events just to kind of dialogue and connect, connect with each other. Talk to me about how you're going to celebrate March 8th. So I'm just excited about Women's um, International Women's Day. I will be hosting a women's event. It's a um, Women's Wellness Day. And it's just going to be catered around women being um, embracing themselves, but also focusing on their mind, bodies, and souls through a day filled of exercises, um, also full of... Um, sessions with the panel. We're going to have wellness people talking about nutrition and just better ways that we can have work-life balance. So I'm excited and it's going to be Electric Depot right. on March 11th and we're just going to also be doing good for women while also raising money for St. Jude. But you can also tune into the podcast if you ever just want to tap into the femininity special yes. and make sure that you're getting that woman-to-woman -woman connection. I love that and okay and now Law I'm going to throw it to you. I know you are not in fact a woman but right. you know plenty of them and women have had a right. huge impact on you, your business, your course, career, correct? Of course. Actually, uh, my business, like, um, I started out with my partner, which is my kid's mother, and she played a major role in my business. I couldn't, I couldn't have done a lot of what I've accomplished without her. Like, she played a background role. A lot of times when I'm on the road doing things, she hold it down. And, you know, I mean, women are more patient, nurturing, and, uh, I mean, women, women are important. That's right, that's right. They're an important, important role in our lives. He even wore his pink shirt to go here with the love 225, <laughs> but that's yeah. all good. Growing up in Louisiana, spice and seafood are staples. So what do you do when you want to wash it down? How about when it's hot outside? Well, you got to get a classic snowball, right? And you'll find those small stands just about everywhere here in South Louisiana, especially as we head into the hotter months. And the same goes for crawfish. The season is kicking off in the higher gear. That lasts from mid-February through May, so we're right on time for some sacks of crawfish alongside a cool snowball. And if you like a little bit of spice, make sure you mix it in a southern classic way. Get you a snowball sure. with ice cream. Now I know my favorite <laughs> kind of snowball are the stuffed snowballs oh, with wow. cream on top. Yeah. Gotta get my condensed milk on top. How you yeah. like your snowballs? I gotta have condensed milk. I like the ice cream flavor and I gotta have condensed milk on the ice top. Ice cream and wedding cake. That's me. What about yes. you? I'm a childhood favorite, my childhood favorite was rainbow. So I'm a rainbow girl. See, I, as an adult, I can't do that. It makes like a whole mess. It's a whole right. thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Same thing with the bubblegum snowballs. Yeah. It's all blue. It's just not, that's not it. Well, Mardi Gras is done. But the streets ain't over. The streets will soon be a sea of green for the wearing of the Green Parade. It's an annual tradition, born and raised right here in Baton Rouge, and it's set to kick off in its 38th year from St. Patrick's Day parade style floats to lucky clovers, beads, and so much more. Of course, the party never stops in South Louisiana, and you can roll out your green outfits come Sunday, March 18th at 10 a.m. Ever been to the wearing of the Green Parade? Yes, I go every year. Um, it's literally been a childhood thing. It's the um, Parade will run right by my street. 
Yes. So I've grown up on that parade. <laughs> yes, and I've, I've covered the show for WBRZ right here, and it's, it's such a fun parade. You ever been to the Wearing Green Parade? I've never been to. This is my first time hearing about it, actually. What really? Is, what is, what is well, it you're going to have to come. You're going to you gonna have to come. We got 40 years in the game. I'm okay. going to have to give you some off-camera off information. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're going to have sure. to come. So, Chiz, what's your favorite part of Wearing the Green? I know for me, I love that it's a family parade. I'll bring my grandma, my son, my whole family. It's like a lot of fun. I love the parade, but... The past three years, I've been going to the Lucky Law Firm big party okay. at their home, and I, that is an amazing way to end the parade. When I say amazing, food, drinks, That's whatever dope. you name it. Okay, it's so just a pre game, <laughs> parade, and post game <laughs> recap. Yes, I love sure. that. I love that. And speaking of recap, we're gonna have much more still to come with Law. Chiz, thank you for stopping by. And I remind the people one more time, you've got the Dream Her event, and that's a, a good event because you're going to be helping women take care and focus on themselves, and you're going to be raising money for St. Jude. Yes. March 11th at the Electric Depot on Government Street at 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Perfect. Well, thank y'all so much for joining us thank on you. this week's edition of Love 225. Now, of course, we've got some lanyard for you, so you want to make sure you stick around. We've got much more still to come right here on Love 225. Yes, we've got something very special here in Louisiana, and we want to visit any and every spot that showcases the extraordinary culture and people that make this place absolutely one of a kind. So make sure you tell us who we need to link up with next. Go like, follow, and share the Love 225 show on social media. That's TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. But first, a special performance from Law Lucas.